all about helping you go from passion to profits in your coaching business. Carolyn. What? We just got an email from Roseanne. From Roseanne? Yeah. What did she say? Facebook ads are not going well. Marketing's not going well? Mm-mm, not at all. She's been running her business for a while, right? Yeah. Well, I wrote, it's just annoying too, because I just talked to her last week, and I wrote back, and I'm like, where, I mean, she has no numbers. Mm, yeah. Like, she doesn't know any of her stats. Yeah. There are some specific mistakes that coaches make in their mid-level career when they get to their second or third year in business totally. that they really need to pay attention to in order to give their marketing a like, real superpower, you know? Yeah, no, I, totally, and I feel like that's what she's falling into. It just... So let's talk about those four biggest mistakes that coaches make, shall we? Yeah. We'll see how we can help her. So obviously number one is that she's not measuring anything, right? Yeah, so one of the big things that this might be going on for her is that the coaches that are struggling with their marketing aren't measuring some of their core numbers. So what would you measure? We need to measure three very specific things. Number one, we need to know her cost per lead. We also need to know her cost per sales call booked. And we need to know her cost per sale, how much it's actually costing her in advertising dollars to generate a new sale. Definitely. Yeah, because I feel like she's not going to be able to optimize anything, right? Exactly. So when you don't measure in your business and you don't actually know what your numbers are like, you can't evaluate the effectiveness of your marketing. You don't really know what's working and what's not. And you might actually leave a lot of money on the table as well. So she could potentially be earning a lot more or she could be saving herself a lot of money in, in her marketing as well. So do you feel like, I mean, I guess, should I tell her, is there any particular place that she should really be tracking all of this? In spreadsheets, there should be a funnel tracker. So our clients, most of them that are doing it the right way, are using a very specific tracking system where they track through their entire marketing sales funnel. And so in her funnel, she should be looking at the top line, which is her lead generation, so her clicks, and also how many leads are dropping into her funnel. And then from there, she should look at her opt-in page uh, percentage, how many people are actually registering for her freebies and webinars and lead magnets. From there, it's important to look at how many people actually consume her stuff, how many people watch the webinar, how many people are downloading her freebies. And then also, of course, how many people are booking calls. Does she know how many sales calls she's booking? I don't think she does. That's a big problem too. I just feel like, again, she's been going through this with Facebook. I mean, is there anything else that she should be trying? I remember when we hit about the third year in business, we began to heavily diversify, I remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of coaches start out with Facebook because it's still the cheapest way to drive traffic and generate leads and new clients. But number one, the clients are not just on Facebook. And number two, it's a big risk if you put all of your eggs in one basket and you're only playing on Facebook. So temperamental, right? Yeah. The algorithm's always changing with Facebook, so. Uncontrollable. Suggest that to her too. Absolutely, yeah. So you can let her know about diversification and find out if she has considered Google advertising or Yahoo advertising. We have been able to drive leads from LinkedIn yeah, to LinkedIn good. prospecting. Uh, we also have a lot of success coming in from YouTube. Find out if she'd like to launch a YouTube channel. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, really look at diversifying in a way that it all comes back down to the same online sales funnel. When you think about the marketing, it's really all confetti that's, that's sprinkled all over the place. But ultimately, all of these leads need to come down into the same lead funnel that makes them interested in working with our clients and working with Roseanne, ultimately booking a call with her, right? A sales call, and then if it's the right fit, enrolling into her programs. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I'll tell her some of that. Um, so do you also, I mean, again, I have to be honest, she's in business, what, almost three years now? Yeah. I feel a little bit of like an energetic burnout from her. Do you feel that too, that maybe she's just getting a little bit lazy? Mm, yeah. She's kind of giving up the fight a little bit, right? Yeah. Hold that thought. I love this song. Okay.
Yeah, I mean, it's it's tough, right? It, maybe it's, it's laziness, and maybe it's burnout, but we see that with a lot of clients where they eventually sort of fall into this trap of, you know, wanting things to be really easy and, and just running ads, for example. So all they do is they run ads and it's the same thing all the time and they forget about this wealth of marketing that they could potentially do. Things like using snail mail, they could be sending out brochures, yeah. they could be sending out postcards, they could be messaging clients. There's so many unique and creative ways to yeah. connect with, with, them, with their market that they may not be thinking about. So they lean back and then when the advertising doesn't work anymore, they say, well, what now? What else can I do? And they forget about this breadth of marketing that's possible for them. So maybe that's an idea for Roseanne yeah. as well. And maybe we can suggest something maybe a little bit more automated, even like chatbots, because if she's kind of feeling that resistance and feeling lazy to be able to sort of give her something that she can implement, but then automate would probably be a good solution yeah. for her. And that's a good idea too, because clients can't be hesitant to test. Testing is such a big thing. Absolutely. You never know if it's going to work. Remember when we ran LinkedIn ads? Yeah. It didn't work out right away, so but you have to test new things in order for you to know what works for your business. Exactly. All right, so we have some good suggestions for her. I mean, the only thing is, I guess I just feel like, is there anything else that she can do that's maybe not paid marketing or maybe, do you have any ideas for her there that we can shoot her way? Mm -hmm. Well, we've had a lot of success with actual offline marketing. I think nowadays the online world is so attractive and it makes things look so easy and again to go back to automation and people think i'll run some ads and i'll boost some posts and, and i'll be done with it but what if you start to really market yourself in the real world you could suggest to roseanne to host a local workshop that's a great idea bring people in a, in her community into a room and host a training she could be hosting a two-hour workshop on her specific market on her health coaching business and gain clients that way. And it's a very low cost way and a very personalized way to yeah. get in front of the right people. You know what the other thing I just thought of too? Doesn't she have that rock star VA that used to work for that other coach? Could we be pulling on her network? I feel like that's something that we could be utilizing, right? Yeah. I wonder if she's even thought of that. That's another really big mistake that, that mid-level coaches make where they, they really ignore some of the other big ways for them to drive leads and traffic and clients. So remember when we launched our affiliate program and then we also did um, some JB partnerships with some organizations. So find out if Roseanne could go out there and build some strategic partnerships with organizations or schools or maybe even other influencers and people who are also working in her niche and with her ideal clients that she can then get referrals from. Right. I mean, not to also toot my own horn, but remember what happened when you put me on the phones? Maybe her VA could be upselling for her. Absolutely. You know, I mean, we never knew that I'd be a rock star salesperson yeah. and just look at how that turned out. <laughs> so if she has coaches on her team or a VA or somebody who does marketing for her or really anybody, those are people who already believe yeah. in what she does, right? So they could be helping her sell, they could be upselling existing clients, bringing in new clients. They could be, she could utilize them in all kinds of different ways. Absolutely. Yes. And then the last idea is what about creating an affiliate program for her existing clients? That's a great idea. Right? The people who already work with her, I'm sure already trust her, know her, really like her. So why not really get that army going for her? Why really yeah. engage those clients and say, hey, what if you refer someone to me and I'll pay you a certain commission, a certain percent? Yeah, no, that's a that's a really good idea too. They could totally be like feeders for her program. Yeah. All right. I feel like I have some good suggestions for her. Thank you, I'm gonna write back. Hopefully some of this will work and we'll get her pointed back in the right direction. Amazing. Yeah, it's really important that with marketing that our clients never get lazy. They always think outside the box. Yeah. They come up with new ideas. They leverage all kinds of different ways to drive leads and, and clients and they measure and track everything so that they know what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. Do you want to know the simple marketing system our clients are using to grow their coaching or consulting business and enroll consistent clients? Then join me for a free one hour training where I reveal to you how to create a predictable stream of clients in just three simple steps. To register right now, go to coachingbusinesstraining.com.